a user wants to buy um, a ticket to a Giants game. So they load up the app, it pulls up, and so you scroll through and you, you click on a game. And then uh, you see the map, uh, beautiful, beautiful maps, and uh, you say, oh, here's a green dot. Uh, click on it, mm, section's not right, I'm going to go back, I click on a second one, I like that one. I click through, put in my credit card information, I have a ticket. On the other side, on, on the SeatGeek side, we're tracking almost every action that happens there. The amount of data we had, so I think it was about 10 terabytes going back um, you know, to, to the beginning of when we had this uh, service at SeatGeek. We wanted to make this experience better. We restructured the whole tracker service um, architecture to make it so that the data that we needed was readily available. But our old data was still unstructured, not very well formatted, so we had to make the decision, well, what do we do with all of this? I went to an AWS conference and I was like, oh, we gotta use Lambda, like, it's the coolest thing. And what was going to take us, you know, maybe two months to finish, ended up taking us a matter of hours to finish. It's made my life easier, like, for my own, you know, analysis purposes, but also, like, everyone else at the company has access to this data, and that was, like, a very long requested thing. Like, we, you know, haven't we been tracking this data for years? Like, why can't we use it? And then, you know, having to explain the whole, well, it's messy, it's really hard. Now that everyone is used to using structured data, I think it's, it's pretty uh, clear.